What's up everybody, Alex from Twinny Gaming TV back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today we're continuing our ranked seasons grind for World Series, currently 768. If you remember at the end of the last video, uh, I think we were maybe down to like 741, 740 something I know, uh, because we did lose. But I played a game off stream, I was just playing just for fun, and uh, ended up getting the victory. So we're back to 768, we were at 771 uh, before we lost in that last video. Now we're back up to 768, so we're three away. We're pretty close to that. We're getting closer to the championship series. I'm gonna go ahead and take out 99 Griffey from my lineup, mainly because I struggle with him, and I want to try out Lou Brock. So we're gonna go ahead and give Lou Brock a try. This is going to be Lou Brock's debut for us on the team. I got him from the Dynasty program. We're gonna have to put him in, I guess, right field and put Reggie in left if Reggie plays left though let's see does he okay so Reggie does play center I meant center I meant if he plays center field so we're gonna go ahead and put Lou Brock in right field because he's eligible to play there and then go over to Reggie Jackson and put him in uh, center field for Griffey I think that means I'll put Griffey in my bench or on my bench though instead of I think Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is a solid power hitter, but I would rather have Griffey off the bench, I guess. However, now we don't really have a power uh, righty off the bench, so I am going to get Aaron Judge and replace Curtis Granderson. No, I, no I'm going to replace Chris Davis because I struggle with Chris Davis, so that's fine. There you can see we have Lou Brock in at right field. He's going to be making his debut for us. Got him a while back from the Dynasty program, and I just, I've never used him. I, I saw that he was pretty fast. He had a lot of speed, so I wanted to give him a try. Lou Brock is only batting sixth. I kind of want to move him up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and lead him off. So lead him off and then put Manny Ramirez here. So go lefty switch, lefty switch, righty, 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 righty. Never mind. I don't want to do that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is tough. We're going to move Paul Goldsmith up here, switch hitter down here. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Oh, God. All right. This guy has 99 Griffey, 95 Andrew McCutcheon, Charlie Blackman, 99 Cal, 94 Correa. That's an amazing card. 91 Robinson Cano, 94 Cepeda, 99 Jimmy Biggins, who's created player. Warren Spawn on the mound. We got Catfish Hunter on the mound. I've never gone up against this Warren Spawn. I know nothing about him. I hope he's not good. This guy's 28 and 24 on on the season we're seven and two hoping to hand him if his 25th L and get us our eighth uh, dub of the season I really hope that Warren spawn is not hard to hit and I really hope this guy is not a great hitter uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the outside corner fastball just see if he swings at it he's not so that's a pretty easy strike for us two two count we're going with the curveball bad idea on two and two but I just kind of feel like doing it and we popped him out okay I'll take that for sure um, I, I, I didn't want to throw the pitch, but I didn't want to throw anything else to Griffey right there. So we got him first strike with the fastball, then he didn't budge at the changes. So we're going to go fastball inside again, get that nice call from the umpire, go back to the curveball, and try and strike him out. He has a pretty good eye, though, honestly, but never mind. Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't. McCutcheon's not really hustling. Two quick outs here in the first. I don't know why, but every time I have a righty on the mound and a lefty up to bat and I throw a slider, I feel like they're going to hit a home run off me because I normally don't get it where I want to. That was like right down the middle. Lou Brock making his debut. Lefty on lefty. So spawn as a four-seamer, curveball, changeup, and sinker. Okay. I'm going to watch the first pitch. Just try and pick up the motion here. That was like right down the middle. I could have, I could have crushed that. Why did I not swing? First pitch though, I had, I couldn't. I just couldn't. But man, I, I. Ugh. Hey, that's gonna be a base hit. Base hit. Let's go, baby. 99 speed too. I think he would have beat that out even if he made a diving stop. I'm, uh, I'm quickly liking Lou Brock. <laughs> wow. I don't want to steal though. At least not yet. Um, I'll take a leadoff step and just see what he does here. Yeah, he tried to pick me off. So we're going to take another leadoff step, see what he does. If he keeps picking me off, I won't take the step. All right, yeah. So he did it again. I just I don't want to have him picking off over and over, so I'm not going to take a step. Warren Spawn, he's not necessarily hard to pick up. He just has a really funky motion. I don't like it. I really don't like it. And he's trying to pick us off, maybe trying to get us on that lead. I'm going to go ahead and steal this pitch. 99 speed, I might as well. Let's go! Easy stolen base for Lou Brock. I'm loving him, man. I'm so glad I put him on my team so far. 
And now he's going to score because Manny Ramirez is going to get that triple. Are we going to get? No, we're going to get a double. But quickly taking a one to nothing lead. Let's go. I'm loving this team, man. And Reggie Jackson swinging at the first pitch. I'm stupid. Oh, I was patient for the first two batters, and then I go and do that. So Goldsmith, I'm batting 348 with. I Every video, I know I say I suck with him, blah, blah, blah. I'm batting 348, though. 19 homers, 50 RBIs. Like, I'm killing it with him. I just... I don't seem to be doing good recently. Paul Goldschmidt, see, look at that, man. I mean, that's a deep fly ball. I made okay contact. He's going to get the runner to third, uh, probably. But I just, I feel like I've been struggling with him. And I think my average has dipped a bit. I think I started off at like 360, now down to 348, which isn't a huge drop, but it's still a drop. Brian Dozier pulls a ball, but couldn't get it through the gap in between the third baseman and the second baseman. We did take the lead, though, man. We got a base hit with Lou Brock, drove him in with Manny Ramirez. I will definitely take that. That 99 speed on Lou Brock is amazing. There we go. Got... Oh, wait, maybe. Look at that Lou Brock 99 speed killing it. Reggie Jackson's normally out there with 74, so uh, it's not too bad, but... Uh, that 99 speed definitely is going to save us on some jammed hits out there. I'm, I think I'm going to love having Lou Brock there. Uh, I'll throw a change up here, try and get him to get an out. If not, there we go. That's going to be an out. Harmon Killebrew making the play. He doesn't have a strong arm, uh, which kind of sucks. That's the main reason I like Longoria better than Killebrew out there, but Killebrew's hitting is pretty solid. Except I do, I do okay with Longoria when it comes to hitting. 3-0 count. Fastball pretty much down the middle. Just kidding, that's ball four. Goodness, Catfish, you couldn't hit your spots at all, man. Yeah, five uh, Yeah, five straight balls. What am I doing? This guy has no hits, and I'm throwing balls after balls. Uh, We'll do this pitch. Jammed him a little bit. Lou Brock easily going to make the play, though, because of that 99 speed. I love him. Victor Martinez has been such a stud for us. I love this card. I need to check what my batting average is with him, though. Umpire, what are you doing to us, bro? 315. I swear to God, like four videos ago, four rank seasons videos ago, I was batting 260 with him. And he's been killing it lately. I'm going to attribute that, though, to my patience. Just because I swing at the first pitch a lot. I used to. And now that I've been being patient, I've been getting a lot better pitches to hit and getting in better counts. Like 2-1 counts is where Victor's going to thrive and just get a good pitch to drive. Ah, man, jammed me a little bit with Martinez. That's probably going to be out. Yeah, that's going to be an out. Had a pretty good at bat, though. Six or seven pitches. I'll take that for sure. Use, use a lot of Warren's pitches. Why did I swing at that with Matt Holiday? <laughs> oh, one oh count. And I swing at that pitch. I'm... I don't know. All right, I'm batting 250 with Harmon Killebrew. If I don't get at least two base hits with him this game... Then he's getting out of my lineup just because I was batting a lot better with Evan Longoria. And there's not base hit number one. So, going to probably have three more at-bats for you, Harmy. And you're going to need at least two hits. I guess we'll try the two-seamer high. That worked out. Let's go. We got the strikeout. All right, Warren spawn up to bat. I'm going to throw him nothing but breaking balls in the zone, preferably. There we go. First pitch swinging. Nice. I'll always take that from a pitcher. Oh, no. I hung the change up. Oh, but he got under it and uh, flew out to Matt Holiday. Nice. He didn't throw a ball, but we wasted another pitch. We're using contact swings. We're using O to swing when we have two strikes on the pitcher because chances are if we use X, he'll swing through it. PCI is really small. O, we have a good chance to foul it off. Or is it circle? It's probably circle, not O. And our pitcher is getting a base hit now. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, Lou Brock making his second appearance at the plate. What you going to do, baby? Ooh, ooh, ooh. First pitch swinging. My bad. My bad, Lou. Gosh darn it, man. I was so patient the other at bat, and then I go and do that. There we go, baby. Ball forward to Manny Ramirez. I was going to swing at it if it was close. We got Reggie Jackson, though. Watching the first pitch, no matter what, I can't take another lefty first pitch swinging out here, man. Yeah, okay. We got a strike. That's fine. And Reggie Jackson kind of smacked that one a little bit. 24 speed. I don't think Griffey has that great of an arm from nearly the warning track to get 24 speed out there. We should have runners at the corners. Yep. With two down four. Is it Goldie? Paul Goldsmith, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I power swung through that changeup. 
What a bad swing. And ground down. That's okay, though. I thought he was throwing it to second. Just the way his shortstop threw that, I thought he was throwing it to second. Oh, no, that's gone. It's not gone. Manny Ramirez actually making the play. There we go. Oh, dear. There we go, baby. He swung under the changeup, pulled it and under it. Lou Brock should make the play two down here in the fourth inning. 99 Cal. I'm pretty sure that I'm 1% away in the Dynasty program from this card. All I would need to do is do like two missions for the Archer program, and I would have this card. But I'm lazy. I don't want to. I also need to win like 26 more event games, and then I get 8% in that program. So I could get the Miggy with the programs that are out now. And uh, if I win some more event games, I'm just, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that stuff. I don't really want to do the programs. And Brian Dozier, he's a pull hitter. Not very good at going the other way. I'm not surprised I uh, flew that one out. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have swung at that. I Every time, not every time, a lot of the time when I swing the bat, I, I don't know. I don't know. Matt Holiday power swing. Not making solid contact though we're at the end of the fourth inning still throwing a no hitter which i'm kind of surprised about this guy's i thought he seemed pretty good after the uh the first couple innings but maybe we're just getting kind of lucky with where he's hitting it all right we're gonna go two seamer high jam him get him to swing through it either one let's go he got him watching okay i'll take that for the first end of the inning and here's the reason our no hit or our perfect game is gone. We walked Robinson Cano. Here's the reason our no hitter's gone. We hung a change up to him and he smacked it. Wow. Why did I hang that change up? Why? And now he gets another base hit. Wow, we were no hitting him through four four innings. Four and a third. And he gets two straight base hits, one of them being a home run to tie it. All right, got him down 0-2. Going to try and paint the corner, strike him out with the fastball. Should be a strikeout. Just kidding. It's not even going to be a double play. Oh, goodness. Why did I do that with two strikes? 0-2 count, and I throw that pitch. Sometimes I strike him out, though. All right, his pitcher spot coming up to bat. I gave him plenty of time to uh, bring in a pinch hitter. He's going to be bunting with him. I'm not surprised. I'm just going to go for the easy out. Two outs now and the top of the fifth inning. I got to be careful to 99 Griffey. Oh my goodness. Let's go, 99 Griffey, grounding out. Got out of the inning, only one run allowed on that solo home run. He did end up getting three base hits, so uh, we got to ba battle back. We don't have to, we don't have to battle back. We just need to score some more runs. Harmon Killebrew, first pitch swing, and I thought I could crush the hanging curveball, but I suck with Harmon Killebrew. He is going to be gone after this game. Catfish Hunter not quite getting his second base hit of the game. We used quite a few pitches, though, so I'll take that. All right, Lou Brock, I'm not going to swing at the first pitch unless I really think I can drive it here because you got out doing that the last time. 99 speed, drop down a surprise bunt. Oh, that would have been a perfect bunt if it stayed fair. We're 0-2, though. Oh, that would have been kind of funny with two down if we got a bump base hit. Ah, Lou Brock. One for three so far here in his debut. I'm loving him, though, honestly, with that 99 speed down in right field. I think he's going to be solid for us. I just I want him to face a right-handed pitcher instead of a lefty. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Lou Brock's going to run after that one. So is Reggie Jackson. I think both of them should be able to catch that, though. Reggie's going to make the play. One down. There we go. Charlie Blackman swinging on top of that one. Catfish making the easy play. Two down here in the sixth inning. Overall, I think I am playing a little bit better than this guy. I mean, we both have three hits. I was no hitting him, and now he has more hits than me. So I don't know about that statement. But I just feel like I'm working the counts better, making some better contact. But you never know, man. I always feel like I outplay my opponents. Unless unless I get, like, mercy ruled or something, I, I've been really feeling lately like I've been outplaying all my opponents. Maybe it's just me being cocky, full of myself. Who knows? Um, overall, I just feel like I've been playing a lot better than I was earlier in the year, though, too. Oh, my goodness. Uh, got way too on top of that one. Uh, oh, I, I got under that one. Too. I got on top of the first one by quite a bit, and I got under the second one by quite a bit. Two down. Something that I haven't done with Paul Goldschmidt, though, in a while is hit a home run. I was hitting a lot of them, a lot of home runs with him when I first got him, and I really haven't hit one in a while. 
not a home run. I was thinking maybe by saying that we could hit one, but that's going to be the easy third down of the inning. I'm thinking this is going to be the last inning for Catfish Hunter. Seventh inning, it might as well be. He's only at 54 pitches, so I guess it kind of depends on if he comes up to bat in the bottom of the seventh inning, which I think he probably will. Uh, we'll just have to see. And Cano couldn't drive that change it for a home run. I just, I really, I threw the other change that he hit a homer on down the middle. It was a mistake pitch. Um, not the only mistake I've made, but one of the few mistakes I've made to a few hitters that can actually kill me this game. I, I overall, I think I've been pitching pretty well. Um, but he took it. He definitely took advantage of that hanging changeup. Uh, two, two count. Gonna go back to the changeup. It's been working for me. Got him, baby. That is why I hate variable umpires. Not even touching the zone. Literally like this much, not touching the zone, like away in between the ball in the zone. And the umpire calls it strike three. That's why I hate variable umpires. Brian Dozier, no doubt about it, baby. Let's go, man. I love pulling pitches with him. That one, I don't even know where it landed. I never saw it come down 440 two feet i gotta i gotta track this ball man i gotta see where this one came down because it never landed on mine oh my goodness he destroyed that ball i've never hit a ball back there i don't think i don't think i've ever hit a ball into those seats he's bringing in chris davinsky now after that home run from brian dozier i finally he has a righty so next time lou brock comes up i hope this guy or another righty still in that's a call that struck me or i struck him out on last inning so i'm not going to complain about that one i still am going to complain that variable umpires are stupid and i hate them <laughs> There we go, Victor. That's another home run. Back to back. That one off the foul pole. Let's go, man. It must be It must be the muscle shirt, dudes. It must be. Oh, I wanted back to back to back home runs. Uh, but back to back will have to do. So Catfish is going to come up. But, oh, man. Harmon Killebrew now. Popping that one up. Yeah, Harmon Killebrew. I tried him out because he's a good hitter, and I can't hit with him. So this is definitely going to be Harmon Killebrew's last game. I want to find a new third baseman, but I don't know who. I would love Miguel Cabrera, the 99, if he plays third base. All right, so Catfish Hunter, up to bat. One down, two runners on here in the inning. I might as well, man. He's pitching well. I, I just uh, We got 99 Griffey here, 99 power versus righties. I might as well bring him in. Wasted at bat from 99 Griffey. I watch the uh, cutter, but Lou Brock gets to face a righty. Why? Please just let me face a righty with Lou Brock in my debut. I don't want to face Felipe Rivero. Ugh. Come on. Lou Brock pulling that one. I was expecting the pitch there, and I actually got it. I'm going to try for an inside the park with Lou Brock. I don't care. We're going for it, dudes. We're not going for it. Never mind. We would have been gone. But we got a triple. Lou Brock with a triple now in his debut, man. Let's go. Stealing home. Stealing home. Stealing home. Manny Ramirez is going to get it out, though. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's the third down of the inning. We're going to the top of the eighth, up by three now, following back-to-back -back homers and a triple from Lou Brock. He has Felipe Rivera, so I'm just going to leave my... Uh, batter in to face him unless he wants I, I want to see who he brings in to pinch hit here so he's bringing in Reggie Jackson to face Griffey uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in um, Tony Watson to face Jackson and 99 Griffey here is he gonna bring in yeah he's gonna bring in now Edgar Martinez Ugh, I knew he was gonna do that though I figured it's okay though we, we we made him waste Reggie Jackson now he can't use Reggie Jackson this game so I just said I love him so far but I've been using him a lot as a season I, I love him this year I just I absolutely love pitching with him got a pretty easy strikeout there um I'm gonna try just get to get the four seamer really inside there we go okay perfect that's actually a perfect pitch got him down 0-2 slider gonna strike him out two down here in the inning that wasn't a strikeout. I thought it was. <laughs> I was way too confident. That's going to be the strikeout, though. Two down. Now, in the eighth inning, four outs to go from getting the dub in uh, Lou Brock's debut. Four-seamer inside. He's not going to swing at it. He swung at it. Popped him up, though. Victor Martinez, if you don't catch this, you're off the team. There we go. You get to stay on the team for at least one more game, Victor. I love him, so he's going to stay for a while. Glenn Perkins coming in to pitch. Lefty on lefty for Reggie Jackson. Glenn Perkins is actually a pretty solid pitcher. So uh, I got to watch some pitches here. Be patient. 
No! I checked my swing. Probably should have just gone ahead and swung, take the strike out. But it's okay. We used three pitches. All right, now he brings in Coda Glover to face Paul Goldschmidt here. Coda Glover is a decent pitcher, this player of the month one. Oh, my goodness. Why? See, look at this. 0 for 4 today with Paul Goldschmidt. Just recently, I've been struggling with him, and I really don't know why. Like, before, I was hitting amazing. I'm ready to pull another homer with Brian Dozier. Pitch is going to be right here. Swing now. And we are ready for it. The exact location and timing and everything. Uh, but we just got on top of it a little bit too much. All right, three outs to go. He has a lefty starting off the inning, so we're going to keep Tony Watson in probably for the entire inning unless he really starts to face some trouble, but I think he should be able to get the six-ounce save here. Go into the slider. First three pitches inside, last pitch outside. Should have been strike three. Umpire calls something 100% out of the zone, a strike, and 100% in the zone, a ball. I don't understand that. I don't understand variable umpires, man. They're awful in this game, but we got the strike out anyways. Oh, goodness. He turned on that sinker high and outside and pulls it for out number two. One out away from getting the dub here in uh, Lou Brock's debut. Ooh, oh, Lou Brock, 99 speed. We're going to have to dive, though. No, he's not able to make the play. What what a way to end the game that would have been in Lou Brock's debut, man. But we're going to get the ground down, and that is going to be it for the game. Lou Brock able to get the dub. He drove into that game. He might even get player of the game, but Catfish Hunter is well deserving as well. Lou Brock in his debut for us, two for four with a single and a triple with an RBI. I thought he actually had two RBIs, but he had an RBI and a run scored. So by himself, he drove in a run and scored in a run, which... You know, this guy only scored one run, so he kind of won us the game by himself, if you think about it. Overall, though, I think he's going to be a great addition to the team. I'm sure I'll add 99 Griffey back in eventually. It's just I was struggling with him quite a bit, and I needed to change something up. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know if you guys have Lou Brock, what you think of him, how you do with him, how you think he's going to fit in on our team in the comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.